All right, welcome back. This is the elevator. In this module, we're going to talk about how to leverage your experience with your first cohort to elevate the delivery and marketing for your future cohort. So it's about making things better and better and better every time. Now, let me tell you a secret. When Archangel first started in 2014, we quickly built a reputation for having incredible events, in-person events. And over the past few years, I've had a lot of people say, hey, Gio, I'm going to produce my first event. What advice do you have for me? And my response usually surprised them, sometimes even shocked them. And I would say, plan your second event. And they would look at me all confused and think, what are you talking about? I, I haven't even done my first event yet. Now, if you're going to produce an event, chances are you don't only want to do one. And what I would tell people is that it's easier to get people to attend the first one because of novelty, it's something new, and because of existing relationships. It's more challenging to get people to show up to your second event unless you start to think about it from the beginning, right? So if you're already planning a series of events, you can execute the first one in a way that helps launch the second and the third ones. And this is how I want you to think about your group coaching as well. It's not just about the first cohort. It's about the 10th cohort. A lot of people also make the mistake of trying to get their first cohort perfect. Many of us are perfectionists, and we want to try to figure everything out before we start. It's not, not only is that not going to work, it's better not to do that. And you can't ever get it right the first time because you need feedback from clients. You need to go through the process. You need to take action. I want you to move forward imperfectly because that's how you're going to get things better and better and better. You will constantly be iterating and evolving and improving your program and making it more and more valuable for your future clients. And this is why, by the way, your founding members get a better rate because they are co-creating with you. And it's that co-creation process that allows you to improve. Now, I'm going to teach you my secret philosophy for building not only a coaching business, but a thought leadership business, any type of messenger platform where you are speaking and changing people's lives. And I call this the Netflix special formula. So what does that mean? Well, I'm a fan of stand-up comedy. I love stand-up comedy and I love uh, being in a room with comedians or watching them on Netflix. Many of the more popular comics have Netflix specials. One of my favorites is Sebastian Maniscalco. So this is uh, Stephanie and I meeting him backstage at his uh, concert or, or show in Toronto a few years ago. Uh, the show or the tour was called Stay Hungry. And then there's also now a Netflix special of that show on Netflix. And when someone like him or Jerry Seinfeld or anyone you can think of who has a big platform, whenever they have a special on Netflix, they don't sit down and write a script. They don't think, okay, I have an hour show. These are all the jokes I want to say. Let's figure this out. Let's rehearse it and then let's film it. Here's what they actually do. They'll start off at small little clubs, you know, 100, 200 seat clubs, and they will write jokes and test them, literally test them with the audience. I've seen, and I go to a lot of these, so I've seen people with giant brand names on stage like this with a notepad and pen, say a joke, wait for the feedback and check it off or scratch it out thinking, oh, that sucked. And the, the interesting thing about stand-up comedy is that they have instant feedback from an audience and they can't, an audience can't lie because laughter is almost um, um, uh, a, a quick response that you can't even capture. You can't even control it consciously. It just happens, right? So they have that amazing ability to get instant feedback. And, you know, this is Sebastian uh, a couple of years ago at Comedy Store, which is one of the most popular small clubs. Um, I was there in January of 2020 and I got to see him perform in a small club, testing jokes. Same with many other people you've probably heard of. It's really fun to see this process. Now, what they do is, is they, they want the client feedback. In, in their case, the client is an audience. In your case, your clients are your group members. It's also, as you're growing your business, going to be your your email community, your social media community. You want that feedback. And what they do is they turn their best jokes into a set. So like a 20 minute set. And then they keep testing, iterating and improving 
adding a joke here and there, taking things out, tweaking the delivery. So they may pause for an extra second. They may enunciate a specific consonant. They may have a specific body movement. They're constantly testing and seeing how to get more and more laughs. And then they turn their best sets into a show, like a one hour show. And they'll start touring the show either in arenas or theaters, depending on their audience size. And still every single time they deliver it to a group of people, they're iterating, testing and improving until they finally have a performance of their, what I would call their greatest hits, which gets filmed as a Netflix special. So by this point, they know how to deliver the best possible show and when you see them on Netflix, you're like, wow, this person's so funny. It's because that they've spent a year or maybe even longer doing this whole process. And you can do the same thing. Every time you, you deliver your group coaching, you can iterate, evolve, and improve your delivery. And then your Netflix special could be an online course version of your program. It could be a book. It could be a keynote speech. It could be all of the above. But the key thing here is that everything is field tested, meaning you've engaged with people, you have feedback. And this is actually how I'm writing my book with feedback. Um, and, and there's so much more we could talk about this and we will in the program. But the idea is to think about not starting with something perfect. You want to co-create with your members and then make it better and better and better and better. So in this module, I'll share how to leverage your first group to make the second and third even better on your way to your own Netflix special.